I am apparently la 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 la. Now, I'm gonna put a comment and try and pin. Hello, peeps. Okay. Paste. Post. And then what? Nope. It's gone, the comment's long gone. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time, guys. Post, touch it, and hold it. Where's the comment? Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna, I was gonna try and pin something, you guys, but that's crazy, cause that's crazy. You know what I mean, that's crazy. All right, welcome to Virginia. Well, hello. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to Virginia. Hello, everybody. Are you guys still remaining civically engaged? I am. I'm engaged with civics. <laughs> All right. I am going to bring in Laquan Love. Let's see. Um, I'm going to look for you. I'm looking for NAACP.Virginia. Okay, let's look at these requests. Oh, here we go, accept. Hi, Rainbow. <laughs> um, we're super excited to be here. So, oh, there you are. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. How are you doing, Miss Ross? <laughs> I'm so good. I'm sorry, I just turned my phone off trying to turn the volume up. <laughs> <laughs> No worries. Well, thank you so much for stopping by virtually to Virginia, to the Virginia State Conference NAACP. Listen to me. I am so happy to have flown through the airwaves to Virginia and to see your smiling face and hear your wonderful accent. Hello, Laquan. It's so good to meet you. Yes, it's a pleasure. I'm Dave Kwan Love. I'm the State Executive Director of the Virginia State Conference NAACP, and I have the privilege of uh, serving our more than 110 NAACP branches, youth councils, and college chapters across the state as we do our civic engagement program this year. I am so glad for the work you do. I want to start by apologizing because I didn't call you Daquan. I said Laquan, and that's not correct. Daquan, it's Daquan. Yes, ma'am, it is. But let me tell you, my mom is the one that will usually correct folks, but I'm sure she wouldn't correct you. No, your name <laughs> deserves to be said correctly. First of all, it's beautiful. Hold on. I knew this was going to happen. My phone is ringing. Stand by, Declan. Hold on. Sure. Oh, this is exciting. I'm so sorry. I'm on a live. Can you come back in 30 minutes? Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, we're just going to keep going. He's going to call back. I bet you anything. Um, <laughs> so um, first of all, thank you so much for all the beautiful work that you're doing. This is, it's so interesting. Um, I feel like all of us in the last year and a half, two years in this pandemic have really um, realized how important our civic engagement is. And even though that's always been the case, so much has been laid bare in the pandemic. And that means it's an all year round thing. It's not just this moment, that moment. And you're one of those people that is doing the extraordinary work on a regular basis. And you live in Virginia. Absolutely. Born, you and born, raised. And ra born and raised. That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> born and raised. So you are within your community and you are continuing to do the work and fight the good fight and make sure that people stay connected to all of the things that matter to them in their communities. And I'm so grateful to you. And I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to ask you some questions so you could share some things about the work you do and the things that people can get involved with to stay connected to how important voting, et cetera, is in their communities. Shall Absolutely. I ask you some questions? I'm excited. I'm super excited. Okay. So you kind of mentioned it, but what is the central goal of what gets you up in the morning and the work that you do? You know, every morning I get up, uh, I have the privilege of coming into a Black-led organization with the sole mission of improving the lives of black and brown Virginians. And how we're doing that right now is through our, our a really exciting and courageous civic engagement program. This is the largest program this Virginia State Conference of NAACP branches has had in over 15 years. We are investing over $750,000 um, to get mobilized black voters. 
you know, there's a lot that has gone on outside of Virginia, but there are a lot of, in, here in Virginia, we have some new things like Sunday voting for the first time and early oh, really? voting. Absolutely. And those are some of the fights that we fought for on the advocacy level. But now we're able to go out into the communities and, and get folks to utilize the Saturday voting and Sunday voting. I was going to say, you get to go out into the community and spread the good word, because as we all know, making voting available to all of us, those of us that work and have different schedules or don't have childcare. So being able to share that news with the community is really important. Why is there such a jump in the amount of funds that are being invested and the work that's been done from then till now? Well, that's a great question. What we know here in Virginia is that all, all, of the, all of the battles that we have fought in education, healthcare, voting rights, it's all on the line. In Virginia, we have elections every year, but looking at the demographics of this election, and of course we are a nonpartisan organization, we, we know just how important the mobilizing black voters is going to be. And we cannot uh, slip in our numbers and percentage of black voters here in the Commonwealth. So I'm, I'll tell you, we have sent, sent out over half a million voter guides to black Virginians mailboxes. We've made over 75,000 phone calls. Um, we are on uh, at just about every black radio station in the Commonwealth of Virginia uh, spreading the message because we know that the NAACP is a trusted messenger. And we want to get make sure that black voters know that they can vote just about every day now between now and October the 30th. And then okay. on election day, not November the 2nd. So let's repeat that again. And I also want to remind everybody the esteem that comes from voting, from participating in our democracy and really being a person that has cast your ballot and has cast an informed ballot. And I think that's one of the things that's really key about what you said is getting the information out there and making sure that people know what their choices are and the agency that they have and how they show up for their own communities, for themselves, for their families, but also for the state at large is incredibly important. And also how important the Black vote is, how one individual makes a difference. And the Black community and the strength of our community is really something that you can see put into action through voting. So I really appreciate that you saying it that way. And then I also, you just said, um, some really key dates that I think deserve repeating. So from now until October 30th, people can already vote. Absolutely. Uh, every county website, every county registrar has a place for early voting. Um, some counties have more dates and locations than others, and we're working to expand that. However, uh, all you have to do is go to vavote.us forward slash vote. Um, and that link will will get you to where you can find your polling location. You can um, check your voter registration status. And even though voter registration um, has ended, you can uh, do all of those things to make sure that you cast your ballot. But I, I wanna touch on something real quick, Tracy, if I can, because you just said every vote counts. I'm sure you remember, Tracy, it wasn't just a few years ago when there literally was a tie for a state house race. Um, so every vote indeed, uh, does count. And this year, we have our entire House of Delegates, the Attorney General, Lieutenant Governor, and Governor on the ballot. So uh, these are decisions that impact us directly. Um, so we're excited to mobilize folks to the polls. So, okay, if I knew how to pin a comment, I would put this website, but I don't. Daquana, <laughs> do not. Tried when we started this, and that is not my forte, but um, it's va.vote. Va vote. Va vote dot us. Okay. Forward slash got. I'm sorry. Okay. Forward slash vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forward slash vote. Okay. So I'm and my repeat. my team is putting that. I'm sure in the chat, just in case I haven't gotten it right. Okay. But, um, but okay, absolutely, so there is a website. Want everybody to know there is a website. If you need the information of exactly the timing of your polling place, all of those kinds of things. And as you said. Um, there's some really key races that are happening right now that affect people in your community. And you are giving us all the goods, Daquan, all of them. And I'm so grateful. And we said every, every vote counts. You know what else? Every vote matters. It sure does. Absolutely. This is me and getting close to the It camera. doesn't matter. It, it... <laughs> you know, we've got to, here's the thing. We've got to do everything we can to make sure we get folks out to the polls. 
And that's, and it's, and also it's not just about getting folks to the polls. One of the things that I'm so proud of uh, that our NAACP units, you know, we have one of the largest state uh, conferences of NAACP branches. More, we, rep, we represent uh, just about 90% of the geographic diversity of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Oh, we have wow. a local NAACP unit. Absolutely. But so it's not, it's not one person, it's not one entity, it's all of us. And we have so many local branches doing great things. But what I think is just so impactful, Tracy, is the fact that everyone has their own reason for voting. So it could be for health care. You could be voting because uh, you're trying to uh, ensure that your local public school is uh, taken care of. It, you can be voting because you want to make sure that we have COVID protections. Whatever um, whatever you've, you're, you feel is important to change in our society, you can definitely vote for it. And the NAACP is also protecting the vote with our new uh, poll patrol program with voter protection. Um, you know, there are folks out there who are trying to intimidate voters. And, you know, the NAACP, Tracy, is not having it. Not having it. No, Daquan. Not, not having, having it. it. No. Daquan, you know what I think this is an important moment for? Uh-huh. First of all, this. Second of all, um, I'd love you, you, to tell us a little bit about yourself. Because I feel like you are an example of your community. You're within this community, and I think it's really helpful for people to know who you are and the work that you're doing, because I think those two are, are connected, interconnected in a really important way. The same way you said everyone votes for a different reason. Like, why did you get involved in doing this civic, civic engagement work? Who are you? What do you do when it gets tough? What are the tough things you're trying to work through? And how can we as a community, me all the way in Los Angeles and everyone in, as you say, the Commonwealth of Virginia, how can we all support each other in this process of living a really wonderful and safe and liberated life, which is what voting keeps us doing? Absolutely. Tell us well, about you. So I am a proud Hampton University graduate, also a proud alum of North Carolina State University, but I've been involved in the NAACP literally since I was in diapers, Tracy. Really? So this is not, <laughs> I know. Uh, so I'm, this, is, this is something that uh, I am very passionate about our civil rights and the work that we've been able to do. And if there's one thing I'd share is that this is not my grandmother's NAACP. We are here modern, contemporary, young, fresh, and hip, um, trying to make sure that we ensure political, educational, social, and economic equality for all. And as I like to put it, AKA, doing what we can to protect and expand rights for Black and Brown Virginians. So what, how, can folks, um, how can folks help us out? You know, the Virginia State Conference, NAACP, you can definitely visit our website, naacpva.org. You please go ahead and click on that red donate button if you, if you feel so inclined. Um, and that, that's because, you know, we're investing uh, these resources to make sure we can mobilize Black voters. And, and every little, little bit helps. As we get more money in, we are hiring more phone bankers. We're hiring more canvassers. We are doing what it takes to make sure that on at the end of the election, as I like to say, at 7 o'clock when the polls close, we will be confident that we did everything we could to mobilize black and brown voters here in this commonwealth. And I don't know about you, Tracy, but I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. So I hope folks will visit NAACPVA.org. Again, that's NAACPVA.org. Don't be afraid to click that red donate button. <laughs> no, don't be afraid. And you know what? So it's so nice listening to you because one of the things I think to myself is I think, oh, you're a reflection of me and you're like the best version of me. And I feel like that's- That is such that's, a compliment. <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing. Like, I feel like I don't live in Virginia, but it's wonderful to know that you are there doing all that you're doing, spreading your joy, spreading the knowledge that you have, the information that you have and sharing it in a transparent way so that we all can be lifted up to your level. Level. They say don't let other people's water get in your boat, but I want your water in my boat, Daquan, because I just feel like this is, it, it is a joyful thing to be participating in our democracy because it is our democracy. And Absolutely. I feel like sometimes that gets lost. I know for me, I had a lot of confusion about why politics had anything to do with me. They're here again. Look, they're here. Yep. You, you called it. <laughs>
I don't know what to do. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, don't, yep, that's you fine. No, look, you have so much to say. You tell people things. Tell people things. Well, I sure will. Well, I will tell you uh, some of the great things we're doing. Um, our phenomenal political action committee is working right now to expand voting access and protecting the vote. Um, our health committee has been working across the board to make sure that we get access um, to COVID vaccinations. Actually, some of our more rural branches have been able to host vaccination drives and, and make sure that folks have uh, information they need to make informed health decisions. So, you know, the NAACP is, is active right now. We're actually right now in the middle of our 86th annual state convention with over 350 delegates uh, from across the NAACP units who are doing the work. <laughs> well, I am, um, I am now fired up and ready to go. Awesome. Um, all, all through the virtual airwaves on this IG Live, I hope all of you out there not only are seeing and witnessing this beautiful local hero that you have, and when I say hero, I mean somebody who has their boots on the ground doing what it takes to make sure people are informed and to make sure all of us feel empowered appropriately as we should be. And I am so grateful to you. The people who are ringing, they're not gonna stop. So I think I should go. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough, Tracy, for uplifting just how important this election is and for, for uh, spotlighting the work of our uh, units here in the Virginia NACP. And before we go, I would love you to say just a few last things about the most important tidbits and facts of information that people should have. Early voting is open now. It is open until October 31st. The actual election day is November 2nd. There's that is a correct. lot of really important um, um, uh, uh, categories that people need to vote in. That's not what I meant to say, but you know what I mean. And uh, every vote matters. And then the other thing is if you could say the website again. Yes. So NAACPVA.org is our main website. And I've been told by my team that the link to the VAVote.us is right on that homepage too. So please check us out. <laughs> yeah, check up, check check it out go NAACP has been here forever and is doing the good work and always has been but as Jaquan said it's fresh it's young and we got this absolutely thank you That's Tracy you. thank you so much thank you everyone in Virginia get out and vote Saturdays and Sundays absolutely some localities okay bye bye bye